Hello and welcome to the 20th annual Southern California Regional Science Bowl sponsored by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. I'm Brian Ojima and as you can see we're in the auditorium of the DWP headquarters here in downtown Los Angeles. Now the final round is about to get underway in just a few minutes but first I want to introduce our resident expert Adam Diamond. Adam, thanks for joining us. Now, you know what? You've been here because you were a participant on the winning team back in 1993. Talk a little bit about what these students are going through. These students have been studying for one, maybe two years just for this one day. It all comes down to this final round, see whether they could pull off the big win. Uh, obviously, the team to beat is North Hollywood. They've won 13 out of the last 14, including six straight. Just talk about what makes them so good. Practicing all the time, just like a sport. You have to go weekends after school. They have the confidence to win. They know they can win, and they're going to try to pull it out today. And now, obviously, Sherman Oaks CES in the finals here. They have met earlier in the round. Just talk about what we can expect from them. We can expect that they have confidence as well. They've been doing very well today. North Hollywood A-team did beat them once. This is going to be a revenge match. Now, for the team that ends up being crowned the championship, talk about what the next step is for the team that wins. The team that wins gets an all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C., where they get to compete in the National Science Bowl competition. Now, you were a part of that. How, how was that experience like? It was a fantastic experience. You get to be with a lot of other students who are really interested in science. Um, you get to do competitions and just hope to pull out the best, uh, best that you have. Now, obviously, this is a double elimination competition. So, obviously, if North Hollywood loses, they're still in it for another round. Just talk about how that works. That's right. This is like March Madness, only in a more extreme version. You get two chances. You can lose once, but if you lose, you have to keep going. You can try again. Here, North Hollywood has won every single round. They beat Sherman Oaks CES once. Sherman Oaks has to now beat them twice in order to be crowned the champion. Well, obviously, it should be an exciting evening in the final round. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, the final round about to begin in just a few moments. So let's send it up to the main stage. Good afternoon. So we just finished the first half of the final round between Sherman Oaks CES and North Hollywood. North Hollywood leading 64 to 18. And once again, joining me right now is our Science Bowl expert, Adam Diamond. Adam, just give me your impressions of this first half of the final round. North Hollywood obviously is doing very well. They have the confidence. They're answering questions quickly. While it may look like a blowout of 64 to 18, when toss-ups are four points and bonuses are 10 points, scores can change really quickly in a short amount of time with just a few questions answered. Now, obviously, we saw Sherman Oaks get out to a quick lead there, but they weren't able to sustain it. Uh, just talk about what impressed you about Sherman Oaks in that, in that beginning portion right there. Sherman Oaks was not afraid to buzz in early. When you start buzzing in early and you get the answer right, it really boosts your confidence. Once they started not getting questions right, you lose confidence and then you're not afraid, then you become afraid to buzz in early. When that happens, the other team is going to take advantage of that and start racking up points. You can't be afraid. If you know the answer, you have to go for it. Now, obviously, these two teams faced off earlier today. Do you think there's any advantage for either side in that? I think North Hollywood has the advantage there. When you beat a team, it really boosts your confidence. They know they can beat Sherman Oaks CES. See, Sherman Oaks CES still has to prove to themselves that they can do it. And I believe they can. Hopefully they believe they can. But we'll have to see in the second half. Now, what do you expect from both teams in this second half? I think that North Hollywood is going to start using the clock. Just like in any sport, you have to know how to use the clock. In bonus questions, you get 20 seconds. If you're ahead, you don't want to start giving that time to the other team. So you want to milk all the time that you can get. It should be an exciting second half. Let's go ahead and send it back up to the main stage for the final round between Sherman Oaks CES and North Hollywood. So, so there you go, North Hollywood winning it once again now for the 14th time in 15 years and seven straight. And joining me once again is our Science Bowl expert, Adam Diamond. Talk about the victory there. What impressed you most about North Hollywood? North Hollywood just had the confidence the whole way through, especially during the second half. They didn't, the other team didn't get a single point. 
what happened, I think, is that Sherman Oaks CES got a little bit in a rut, and when you get in a rut, you lose the confidence, you're afraid to buzz in, and it's hard to get points when you don't buzz in. Talk about Sherman Oaks there, because obviously they got out to the quick lead, but then all of a sudden you saw North Hollywood just start getting on a hot streak there at something that Sherman Oaks couldn't recover from. That just goes to show that the dominating performance that North Hollywood has had over the, over the past decade. Um, is so much, so little that sometimes a team can do once they get in a rut. You just can't answer the questions. North Hollywood had the had the confidence to just pull it out. And you've been a part of a championship win like this. What does it feel like, and what are these kids from North Hollywood feeling right now? It feels fantastic to win. You, you put in so much time and effort in the past two years to get to this point. They finally get to go to an all-expense-paid trip to Washington, D.C. It's a whole lot of fun. You get to participate in the national competition, and they've done very well in the past, and they might do very well in the future, I suspect. Well, obviously, it was an exciting night. You know, 42 teams vying for this at the beginning of the day, but it's North Hollywood winning the Regional Science Bowl Championship for Adam Diamond and all the rest of our crew here at Channel 35. I'm Brian Ojima. Thanks a lot for joining us, and we'll see you back here next year once again. So long, everybody.